Well, hello there, beautiful. Welcome back to the Tea Room. It's time for Tea with Tamara, and I have another video for you today that is going to be a little bit different than the videos that I normally do. So before I get into the content of what this video is about, I just want to kind of give you a better understanding of the direction that I'm going to be going here on my channel. I am going to be moving away from beauty and crafting and more into uh, motivational and inspirational content, content that I feel will better serve um, you in the long run. Um, there's, I'm still going to keep my library on this channel. However, I just have grown myself in a different direction and I still love all things beauty and crafting but that is not going to be the main focus of my channel moving forward um, simply because I want to offer you something more substantial more substance and so um, yeah that's the direction that I'm choosing to go in I was gonna make a whole new channel for what I want to do, but I kind of really don't have the time to keep up with different channels. So I'm just making that shift on this channel. If you are into that and you want to stay, I welcome you to stay. If that's not your cup of tea and you want to leave, God bless you. Thank you for joining me and supporting this channel for as long as you have. And I appreciate you. And I'm going to tell you, go with God. And I love you. I mean, there's nothing else that I can say. I can't make you stay um, if you don't want to. So with that said, today what I'm going to be talking about is your purpose. And this is a topic that is very near and dear to my heart because that is something that I have been um, trying to figure out um, here lately. And I kind of had an idea of what my purpose is, what my God-given purpose is. But I'm really trying to like hone it in and niche it down. And so as I was in my quiet time with the Lord this morning, that was something that I was actually talking to God about and praying and asking him about. And one of the things that he was kind of showing me just as I was meditating on those things is that before you... You kind of first have to know what your purpose is before you can execute it. So I took some notes here, and so I'm just going to read off of my notes. Um, there's five things that I feel like God has given me. The first thing is if you don't know what your purpose is, ask him. You ask him through prayer, however way you pray, whether that be talking out loud, quiet meditation, journaling, Talk to God. Ask him. He's the one that made you. He created you for a purpose. He created you with a destiny. You know, Jeremiah 29 and 11 says, for I know the plans that I have for you, um, plans to prosper you and for good. And so that just right there lets you know God has a plan. He had a plan in mind for you when he made you. And so if you don't know what that is, you first need to ask God, seek the Lord and ask him what your purpose is, okay? Because I guarantee me, there's a purpose that was specifically made with you in mind and he's the one that designed it for you, okay? So that's number one. Number two, first, after you've asked God what your purpose is and you've figured out what that is, you need to understand your purpose. And what I mean by that is, if you don't understand or if you're unclear about what your purpose is and how it functions, how it operates, then you won't be able to fulfill it. You won't be able to execute what that is. And so you need to know what steps and actions you should be taking in order to fulfill that purpose. I hope that makes sense. Number three, let's see, how was your purpose tailor made for you? So, you know, in my last, um, I did a Bible study on Instagram and I'll put my, I'll try to put my Instagram link somewhere. I'll try to annotate it somewhere in this video, but, um, you can follow me on there. And I did a Bible study on David and Goliath and the fact that 
when David was going into battle with Goliath, before he used the five smooth stones and his slingshot, Saul had given David his armor. And David put the armor on. He tried it on for size. He took a few steps to see if it would work for him. And then he quickly came to the realization it wasn't going to work for him. He said, I'm not used to this. It's, this is not for me. And he took them off. Reason being is because that was Saul's armor. That armor was made and tailored for Saul, not David. David's armor was his five smooth stones and his slingshot. That's what he was used to. That's what he used in the field as a shepherd, looking after and tending to his father's sheep. So that's what was natural for him. And that's exactly what I mean by how is your gifting, your calling, your purpose, tailor-made for you. I will clue you in that something that I've been hearing a lot lately, and I, I really do believe that this is true. Your purpose, your calling, your gifting is something that you're already doing. It's something that you do without even thinking about it, and it's something that you're good at. If you really, really want to know what that is, then ask the people around you that know you the best. Ask them, what is it that I do well? What, in your opinion, have you noticed about me? And it has to be someone that you feel safe with, that you trust, that's not going to judge you, that's not critical, but honest. Those people know before you do what your purpose and what your calling is. So I did the same with my circle of people, and I heard the same thing over and over again repeatedly. Tamara, you are such an encourager. You love well. You know how to motivate people. You know how to encourage people. You are authentic. You help people move into action. You inspire people. And so that's something that comes very natural to me. I will be your biggest cheerleader, your biggest fan. Um, if I know you and I believe in what you're doing, if you're having a down day, I'm usually that person that is going to kind of pull you out of your funk, um, which can be a blessing and a little bit of a, I wouldn't say a curse, but a little bit of a hindrance for me because then I, I'm susceptible to falling into my own type of funk, if that makes sense. So I have to be very careful, but as an encourager, that's what we do. That's what we do well. That's what we do best. We know how to look at somebody's situation and pull the good out of the situation or pull someone out of, you know, their despair and get them to a place where they're saying, you know what, maybe it's not as bad as I'm thinking, or you know what, I'll give it another try. I hope this all makes sense to you guys, okay? So that was number three. Number four, you also need to ask God, what are the specific methods and tools that he has made for you to use? For me, my method and tools are, number one, the gift of gab. I mean, come on, guys, really? Why, would I, why else would I have a YouTube channel? I know how to communicate well with people. That is also a tool and a gift that works well for me, and I know how to wield that tool very well. My other gifting is writing. I write very well. So my blogs, I whatever information that I'm not giving you here on this channel, go to my blog. I'll also have that linked in the description box below, and you'll be able to see through my writing that that is something that I'm very good at. And I'm not saying that in a cocky way. I'm saying that in, I'm recognizing the tools that God has given me, and this is how I'm using them and implementing them to fulfill the purpose that he has placed on my life. Okay. Um, so that's what I mean by what methods and tools. And a lot of this, you know, I can't give you a step A through Z of how to figure out what your tools are. A lot of this, you're going to have to put the work in. You're going to have to sit with God, you know, have, have pray on it and not just one day. Like that's got to be something that you're praying on continually going to God, going before him and then listen. Don't just pray and leave the moment without listening. I think that that is something that we can fall into that trap very often in that we will ask God a question, but we don't sit around and wait for the answer. Like we say the prayer really quick and then we're out. 
No, what I'm saying is write the prayer, say the prayer, meditate on the prayer, constantly keep that prayer before the throne of God and the Holy Spirit will eventually begin speaking and showing you and telling you what the answers are to your questions. Last thing, number five, know the function of each tool, how it works and when to use them. So for example, I could have written this out in a blog version, right? That's one of my tools. However, I feel like a video is more personable, a video uh, will better communicate and convey the message that I'm bringing to you. So you kind of have to know which tool to use in your tool bag and when to use them. Everything is not, every tool is does not fit every function that you want to execute. So you have to be very intentional and purposeful on how you use your gifting. Another tool that I could use is a one-on-one -on -one conversation. So if I were having a moment with a friend and we're having a personal conversation, this is not a conversation that I would have with someone through text. This is a phone call or let's go to coffee. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, do you get where I'm going? So that's what I wanted to bring to you today. Just some nuggets of wisdom um, for those of you who are on a journey to figuring out what your calling is in Christ, what God created you to do, what your purpose is. I know that is a question that many of us have. Many of us, you know, we try different things and we try to emulate different people. And I want to touch on that too um, before I leave you guys um, close this video. But be very mindful that you don't fall into the trap of emulating and copying what other people are doing. So what do I mean by that? Just because this platform might work for me does not necessarily mean that it's going to work for the next person. Um, there are many motivational speakers. There are many inspirational speakers that have many different platforms that have many different tools and different things that they use in their arsenal to get their message out. And it's one thing to glean from them and to take notes of how somebody does something well. But when it comes to your purpose, you don't want to be copying exactly what the next person is doing. Otherwise, it's not authentic to you. Did you get that? It's not authentic to you. Use what God gave you. Do it the way that feels natural to you. For me, this feels natural to me. To somebody else, they might say, oh, Tamara, I could never get on video and talk about this, but I sure could write about it. Then that's fine. Do whatever comes naturally to you. The whole purpose and the point of my message here today is when you're wanting to know and walk and fulfill in your purpose and your calling, you you got to know what that is and how it's going to work for you. And so to to put on somebody else's armor and try to execute it, it's not going to work. If David had gone to fight Goliath in Saul's armor, he would not have won. Why? Because that armor was too heavy for him. That's not something that he was used to. If you go back in the scripture and you read it, I believe it's in 1 Samuel, go back and read that story, you will see he took two steps forward and realized, I'm not used to this. It's too heavy. Saul was a big dude. David was a little dude. So can you imagine putting on this heavy armor that was not tailored for you, that these instruments of, of weaponry that you're not used to wielding and then going and trying to conquer a giant? You're not going to win that battle. But when he took that off and he used the five smooth stones that he was used to using, it only took one of them stones to take Goliath out and he was out of there. So that's what I mean by figuring out what God made for you, what his intention for you was, what are the tools that he has given you, what do you have in your hands? Use that. That's what God gave you. Okay. I hope that this video has blessed you. I hope that you've gotten something out of it. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section below and you know what to do. Click that notification bell and subscribe so that you can know when I upload next. I 
Love you for watching. You know what I'm going to say. Stay sweet, stay beautiful. And remember, there's always time for tea and a word. <laughs> Have a good day, guys. Bye.